The recall primary campaign is officially on tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson and I'm Eric Franke. First tonight, the deadline to get on the ballot has now passed today. Democrats Kathleen Falk, Tom Barrett, Kathleen Vinehout and Doug LaFollette submitted nomination signatures at the Government Accountability Board. Pending challenges, the four will square off in the May 8th primary and fake Democrats will likely join them on the ballot. The night team's Theo Keith continues our campaign 2012 coverage with what that means to the race, Theo. Well, Eric, Republicans are running as Democrats in the primaries for governor, lieutenant governor, and the four Senate seats. The Republican Party is behind the effort. The party says it's to ensure election fairness, but Democrats are crying foul. Yeah, we've had a busy day today. If the piles of paperwork measured democracy at the Government Accountability Board, the stacks supporting fake Democrats sparked a measurable debate. Oh, we're not going to allow one of our Republican uh, candidates to go and have a primary on the day that every liberal activist in the state turns out to vote in a very contentious uh, Democratic gubernatorial primary. The practice, which Republicans also used during last summer's Senate recalls, drew complaints from the other side. Well, I think it's a, just kind of a cynical move. I think it's trying to distract voters, to confuse voters, um, and I think it's, a, it's not a very democratic thing to do. And I think our experience in Wisconsin is there's not usually uh, such mischief, but they'll, they'll figure that out. At this point, there is no requirement to be a member of a political party in order to run for that party's nomination. The governor wouldn't comment on whether he supported his party's decision that says people want the elections on the same day. They're tired of elections going on forever. They don't want to have a mishmash of when elections are. They want them done on June 5th, and they want us to be able to move on from that standpoint. The governor himself will have competition in his own primary from a fake Republican. He's Arthur Cole Riggs, a Madison man who has protested at the Capitol. That much we know. So if you just want to come with me, sure. but we don't know much about the fake Democrats. Their names, sure, but how did the Republican Party choose them? How do you recruit these six? We asked them. You know, there's millions of people in the state. How do you come up with the six, though? Uh, I was not involved in that process. I couldn't tell you. Spark says the party will commit minimal resources, money, time to these fake Democrats, meaning they are really simply placeholder candidates. Walker, meanwhile, says he wasn't involved in his party's decision to put forward these protest candidates.